Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Faulkner County Public Schools with another edition of One Hard Question. This week's hard question comes from Stephanie, who asked the following, uh, why are snow days added on to the end of the year when generally most of the important information has been taught and tested through standardized testing in May for third grade and up, adding days just for the sake of hours instead of making up the instructional time? Uh, as a lifelong resident of this county, we never had spring break as a child, it was understood that if we had a lot of snow, that would be the makeup time, much like President's Day. Learning should be the focus, not days off and breaks from school. Why are the hours added when we spend as if they are spent as parties and movies instead of instructional time? Uh, thanks for the question, Stephanie. And I, I disagree with most of the assertions made here. Um, I don't. I've lived here for three years. I didn't realize that. In days past, um, folks never got a spring break uh, because of snow days. But of course, the way we choose to do it here uh, through our, our, our approved calendar uh, came as a result of um, surveying stakeholders and asking them what they would prefer. Um, and um, we've done that twice. We did it this year and we did it a couple years back. And people overwhelmingly, when I say overwhelmingly, I'm talking about 80% of our stakeholders indicated that they would like to have a, 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 a protected spring break and a protected winter break. So that's what we've tried to provide. Now, in the existing cal calendar, thus far, we've added two days on to this end of the school year, May 26th and 27th. That's uh, makeup days for January 25th and 26th. Uh, the first day was for March 28th, uh, which I believe was a teacher work day, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, also, um, day four was February 15th, which was President's Day. And then the rest of the days are bank days. And um, in terms of instructional time, I just want to point this out to you. We're able to bank so many days of instructional time because we provide much more than what is required by the state of Virginia in terms of instructional minutes provided each school day. And as a result of doing that, we're able to bank days. So that is protecting instructional time. We're providing much more instructional time um, than is required by the state. And I would also point out that in, in this semester, uh, instead of having a 90-day semester, second semester, we have a 95-day uh, second semester. So we're already significantly ahead of the game before the semester even starts in terms of the number of days contained in the semester. And of course that's as a result of having a rather unique calendar that people seem to really appreciate uh, and like. So um, that, that sort of is what it is, but to uh, imply that uh, we're sacrificing instructional time for just to, to fill minutes is just not accurate. Uh, we're adding two days on to the end of the school year and I can tell you from having done this now going on 26 years the last two days of school are the last two days of school. I don't care when they are. They can be May, April, July. The last two days of school are the last two days of school. And what typically happens in those days, people are wrapping up. Expedited retakes are occurring. And folks, um, my principals have showed appreciation for the fact that there are two additional days now in May where they can conduct expedited retakes for students, SOL-tested uh, students. Uh, and lots of teachers are sort of wrapping up the semester in those last couple of days. Te students are presenting projects. Uh, in some instances, they're taking exams for perhaps late exams. Uh, but yeah, are, are there some party, end of the year parties and uh, occurring classrooms? Probably. But that's going to happen no matter when the last two days of school are. So I don't think there's anything magical about um, May 26th and 27th. Uh, so, you know, the, the, this calendar, I think, is, is something that's been good for the county. Uh, we started this, this last year. We saw student achievement levels rise. And, uh, and I would also point out, you mentioned standardized testing in grades 3 and up. Uh, just keep in mind, we have a lot of grades that aren't tested, and we have a lot of subjects that aren't SOL tested. And um, they're, not, they're not shutting down after... SOL testing, I'm, I'm not sure anyone is, but they're not shutting down after SOL testing because they're not giving an SOL test uh, in, many, in many instances. But uh, I will say this to you and any other parent, if you see some abuse taking place at any school relative to the last few days of school or, or whenever in terms of uh, 
parties, me, uh, movies being shown over. Let me know personally, and I'll, I'll look into it personally. Uh, but uh, I think we have a good calendar, and I think um, um, the fact that we bank so much time is a, a tribute to the amount of instruction that we provide to our students, which is much more than is required. So hope this was, has been helpful to you, and thanks for uh, providing such a good question.